Hello everyone, Amber Romani from Amber Approved You, leading emotional eating, digestive, and hormone experts. Today I want to talk about the dangers of using cleansing and detoxing to try to lose weight. So a lot of people will try these things because they've heard claims that you can lose weight if you do a candida diet or a juice cleanse or a liver detox. And while yes, that could be one of the bonuses or side benefits, I never recommend that anyone uses any kind of restrictive protocols or cleansing or detoxing in order to lose weight because you're desperate to lose weight, you're not happy with your body, you're not happy with your body image, you're struggling with emotional eating, you have low confidence, and you feel like this is the only way for you to gain control. The problems with doing this are A, you probably don't know your current state of health, uh, in which if we don't know what's going on in the body and we do something like this, we have a higher chance of throwing other things out of balance. Um, next up, if you go from, say, eating more refined foods and binging or emotional eating with lots of sugars and, and different things like that, and then you go into something like a candida diet, you could end up feeling so sick from all the detoxing and die-off that your liver and your bloodstream is now taking on that this could actually scare you and make you think you're actually really sick. And sometimes when we go through detoxing or some sort of protocol to actually support an organ or a part of the body that's out of balance, um, when we're not monitoring this, what can tend to happen, because we have to eliminate different foods, um, if you have an emotional relationship to your food and you feel like you're restricting, you could end up maybe doing good for a little while and then falling off track because you get triggered, because of course we have to deal with all of that, um, and then you can end up then binge eating on all the foods that you're not supposed to have. Going on detoxes and cleanses while we're struggling with an emotional relationship with food can also make us fear healthy foods or fear um, incorporating certain foods back in for fear will gain the weight back. None of this is healthy or a healthy mindset. If you are doing this or struggling with it or thinking about doing it, I encourage you to not because it can cause a lot more harm than good. I've seen with people that I've worked with, I did it myself in the past when I had a food addiction and it did not serve me at all. If you are struggling, I encourage you to email me at info at emberproof.ca to book a 30-minute complimentary consultation so we can explore your health struggles, goals, um, connection to food, emotional eating, body image, and create a more healthy and mindful way for you to get where you want to go that doesn't include a bunch of cleansing and detoxing and side diets and things that won't serve you. You will also want to make sure that you stay tuned for episode 95 of the podcast coming out this Sunday. That is the No Sugar Coating Podcast where I'm going to be talking a lot more in depth about this specific topic and a lot of other great things. You can subscribe on iTunes as well as click the link in the show notes below to take you there and catch up on old episodes. Uh, you can also check out amberfood.ca for a lot of great information, recipes, blog posts, and insights. Make sure you subscribe to me here on YouTube. I post new videos on Fridays. Thank you so much for watching, and I will chat with you next week.